What is up people and welcome back to another analysis of Brett's Vlogs and today what are we going to be doing? Well in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about Manchester United's last game which was played last night which was against Southampton in the uh, EFL Cup final. So yes, we United did get the victory, three goals to two. But talking, talking about the whole game overall... You guys are going to be asking me, Brett, what did you think of the game? Well, in the end, I have to say it was very nerve-wracking again. It was one of those games where it was very nerve-wracking, where whenever they were on the counter-attack, we were getting worried of what was going to happen next. They got, uh, well, they did score two goals, but they got very close once and they hit the, they hit the post. But yeah, obviously, cracking on in today's video, to start it off, I'm going to... I'm going to talk about a bit of the defence because obviously the game just con uh, just contains a lot of defence obviously in the last game because our defence wasn't that solid uh, in the last game. We weren't, it was a bit, but it was one of those, it, it was one of those games where it was United's day and it wasn't really Southampton's day. That happens in football really, you have to just take it, which uh, we, obviously we took it because we won, uh, but Southampton still have to they still should be proud with themselves because they came second in the whole bloody goddamn EFL Cup thing. So they came second. They did better than they did better than City, really. But yeah, like I did say, I did have to warn that the that they had some world class players uh, who they've only just signed. But yeah, obviously talking about the starting eleven. So the starting eleven was De Gea, Valencia, Bailey. Smalling, if I've said him, and Rojo, Mata, Herrera, Pogba, Lingard, Martial, and Ibrahimovic. Now, talking about their first, uh, our first goal. So, leading up to that first goal, obviously, clearly, it was a free kick. We were all shouting. Now, talking before we talk about this, now, the ref was absolutely shit last night as well. Only because he made some bad, bad decisions. He should have actually sent off one of our guys, but uh, I think it was whoever who was already on a yellow card for us. Uh, we obviously got away with that, and obviously the thing was is that um, their, one of their defenders should have got sent off that uh, R Romet, R R R Romu, however you say his name, if I've said it right, he should have got sent off as well. For Southampton, he clearly went into three challenges yes last night. I don't know how he got so lucky in that um, in that situation. I think he should have sent off at least one person last night. The ref was terrible last night as well. So yeah, obviously talking about our first goal, it was a very clumsy challenge to go into what Southampton did. So we went and claimed our first goal. Really, and um, that was scored by the, the the man on the back. Really, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So, talking about the free kick, my dad was like, "Right, come on, let's get a goal from this." And I was like, "I had a really good, I had a really good feeling we were going to score on the free kick. What do we go and do? We go and bloody score on the free kick. What a what a free kick it was. The keeper had no chance of getting it, so we needed the first goal." But yeah, obviously talking about the game, it was one of those games where the performance wasn't that high from from United last night. Southampton were absolutely around us in the first half. We needed to sort that defence out. So talking about the, our second goal as well, the passing wasn't that too great. But I don't know, we just got away with it. We got lucky last night. But we obviously need to step up our game. I know we are playing against someone like Bournemouth in the next game. But still... They beat us. They beat us once, which is very embarrassing for us. That was about a year ago. So, so, so then after that, we, we were two 0 up, and close to half time on the forty second minute, they went and bloody scored. Now, obviously, it's always the ideal to score right at half time, really, which wasn't really uh, ideal. So we gave away the ball. We were given the way a ball. Their set pieces were absolutely brilliant. Ours were shit last night. But uh, we just got really lucky last night. We Thankfully, we still bloody won it. Uh, but yeah, we just needed to really concentrate. It was one of those games where, where the defence was absolutely going to be busy. 
Um, but yeah, obviously talking about our defence. Now talk, I'm going to talk about every single player. Now Valencia, he played really well. Um, there were some places with uh, Valencia where he was having some, he was having a good game and just had a little bit bad game as well. Now talking about their first goal, he wasn't back in into the defence. I think. Well, I, I might get mixed up with the first and second goal. It's it's one of them anyway. I think the second goal was a corner. That yeah, it was a corner. So I think it was the second goal. So the first goal, yeah, they crossed it in. Um, so actually, talk, actually, before we talk about their first goal, Southampton should have gone one nil up. Now, was that onside or was it was he offside or was he onside? Well, the guy who actually scored, he was onside, but Ryan Bertrand was offside. So I think that the linesman saw Ryan Bertrand offside before he saw this other guy who scored. So they're all depressed, all shocked. But you have to take it. They should have gone 1-0 one, one up. It's just one of those. Also, the linesman had a bit of a bad game as well. But yeah, Valencia had a, really, uh, had a good game, but just a little bit of a bad game. Smalling, he was leading out the team. Now, in the second goal, he wasn't, or, yeah, I think it was the second goal, he wasn't really communicating to Bailey or, yeah, he wasn't co communicating to Bailey. He was right next to Bailey. So, that's the key, really. You have to talk to the team. And people like Zlatan, I know he's experienced, but you can't let the guy talk to you, uh, to the players. He's try He's also trying his best to lift all, all the other players, to clear your heads out and to go again. Now, we sort of try to clear our head, heads out and to get another goal. Now that's what we needed to do. We did it, but we we then conceded in the second half three minutes later. So, Smalling, he was leading out the team. Bailey, yes, Bailey had a bit of a bad game as well. He Well, he, had a, he did have a good game, but it was just like the defence was a bit sloppy last night. It was like everyone was flat last night. But once we lifted up the game in the second half, they were absolutely knackered. Once they were knackered, we start getting on the counter attack. Once we, I think in this first half, they were absolutely dominant us. We weren't awake. We didn't have the best of the starts. We need to start waking up, getting those balls in, get those set pieces going, and we need to get right at the at our opponent, whoever we're playing. Just get right on them. Uh, talking about Rojo, he got sat down on his ass last night as well a couple of times. He needs to start lifting up his, up his game. It was one of, like I said before, it was the it was one of those games where the busy uh, the defense was going to be busy. But yeah, uh, so yeah, obviously their first goal was absolutely good. Just scored before half time. It was idea. It was of course. So we went two one. Uh, it was two one. They came back on and again. It was Smalling or someone like that. Wasn't communicating again. You were leading out the squad, mate. But actually then, uh, Carrot came on. Now that's the thing. We then needed someone in defence, really. Um, we needed someone in defence. Uh, obviously someone experienced to talk to the players. To get this defence sorted out. He is a CDM. He, need, he needed to sort of play back as well. Um... He uh, yeah he had a bit of a good game as well, Carrick. But he was a bit of a he was a bit of a one of those guys. He was a bit of a mess, but didn't really talk to the team as well. But we did get very lucky last night. So yeah, you, you guys might be saying Brett, why are you blaming the players? Well, the thing is the performance wasn't that great from us, but we still won. Obviously, it's football like that. You have good days and bad days. We ha we have it in golf. We have it in football. So United had a good game last night. Southampton had a had a really great game, but they just didn't. Uh, they just they just got tired in the second half, and once we were once we livened up the game, we knew we were gonna go and win it. So yeah, obviously in the second half we then brought off one matter. Now one matter, I don't think he should have started. He went off to Spain to pay his respects to his granddad because his granddad has only just died. Now I don't think he should have started. I don't think he should have gone to London. I think he should have just stayed at home, watched the game, and back in Manchester really. Uh, so obviously, once we took off someone like Jesse Lingard, Jesse Lingard had a good game. He actually scored the second goal for United, but he was he was one of those players who was a bit of a mess as well last night. It might have been a good game, but we still played a little bit crap as well. We just need. It was just one of those games where 
uh, was it deserved? Was uh, it uh, should it should like was United deserved to get the win? Well, in the end, we did because we really pushed for it, and we were, we we were itching for the win. We didn't really want to have extra time, so yeah, um, yeah. So then he brought the, on Rashford. Rashford uh, obviously caused a lot of threat to Southampton. Obviously, once you've got someone from. Obviously, when you've got someone Mancunian, uh, it changes the game. It's not only just that; he's got he's got pace as well. The lad, he's only twenty years old as well. Uh, and then obviously we were we were going to bring on Rooney, but then he he sat back down. It would have been good for Rooney to actually play, and then obviously to lift up the cup. Um, but in the end, he just uh, took the pace and brought Fellaini on. We should have brought on Fellaini at the start of the game. He got the wrong mix as well, so I think he needed to sort of do a little bit. Uh, I, I don't think it was the right mix last night because Martial had a bit of a bad game as well. There was some players who had good games and bad games last night, so I think he just really needed to... Uh, I don't... Because uh, I even said it to my dad that he didn't get the right mix whatsoever, so I think he just really needed to think deep and hard who he had to sort of put out. But it, it wasn't the right... I don't think it was the right lineup as well. Um, he should have started Rooney. Should have some, should have started Carrick as well. Um, and then we should have brought on Fellaini around the 60th minute as well. But it would have been good if Rooney were actually started uh, because it would have been good for him because uh, he d he didn't really he didn't really get to come on. He only kept, he was about to come on, but then um, he just uh, went back on. Uh, he just went back on the bench because uh, we were uh, what once Rooney was about to come on, we scored really. So, yeah, obviously uh, the third goal was scored by the man himself, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So come on, you Reds. Um, yes, we. It was. Was it deserved? I think um, we worked for it. Obviously, like I said before, Southampton were absolutely switched off. They were knackered. They tried bringing on some YouTubes themselves. They tried to obviously change the game a little bit. They caused threat to us. It was one of those games where it was just a bit, bit of a good and a bit of a bad game. We lifted up our game. They were knackered. We bounced up. We we bounced back. We got the third goal. We bloody got the cup in the end. So yeah, obviously, uh, big congratulations to obviously, of course, my uh, to the lads, obviously Manchester United for obviously lifting up the trophy last night, and big congratulations to Southampton. They've absolutely played well themselves. They shouldn't be down. They should be actually happy for themselves that they actually came second because um, because we had to beat City to get through, and we had, and we only got one goal. So yeah, we have to play uh, Chelsea in the FA Cup. That's going to be an absolute uh, uh, belter game as well. Like I said before, we just need to take it back to Old Trafford, take it back home, and I think we can just get it. But yeah, that's it for the analysis. We got the win, we got the victory, we got the trophy. It was just one of those games, just to sum it all up, it was a bit of a good and bad game for us. We just need to adapt to that in the next game. Uh, we just sort of had, like I said before, we didn't have the right mix at the start as well. He wants to bring back the rights of Rooney now because he's, he's fit now as well after being out for a couple of games because he's been injured. Uh, so yeah, we've still got Phil Jones still injured. Uh, Mickey Tarion's injured so he couldn't play. If Mickey Tarion was in the squad, I bet we would have absolutely whooped those asses last night. But yeah, we we were two 0 up, and then we let it slip, and then we actually got and we actually lifted up the game. But yeah, hope you guys are gonna have a great week, and I'll speak to you guys uh, in a minute. Actually, uh, the reason why I'm actually gonna speak to you guys in a minute, I'm actually gonna be doing a daily vlog uh, for the uh, Dubai Tennis Duty Free. I was actually doing a vlog on Saturday, and it didn't turn out well because I went over 15 minutes. So yeah, I'll speak to you guys in the over on, on the vlog. I will get this video out as soon as possible tonight if I can and I'll speak to you guys very later on and peace. Come on you ads.